Jimmy Kimmel, Tom Suozzi has very big clown shoes to fill. Kimmel quipped that the results of New York's special house election needed to be checked to make sure the winner wasn't George Santos in disguise. Tom Suozzi, a Democrat, won a special election on Tuesday to fill the congressional seat previously held by George Santos. The victory reduced the Republican's slim majority in the House. Jimmy Kimmel congratulated Suozzi on his victory on Wednesday, saying, You have some very big clown shoes to fill. Do you guys remember George Santos, congressman, suspected felon, Sephora Platinum member, Nobel laureate, Olympic gold medalist, Clark Kent experiencing an allergic reaction, and Super Bowl MVP, Seth Mayers, they actually had to wait to verify the election to make sure the winner wasn't George Santos in disguise. Jimmy Kimmel, it's weird when you know nothing about someone but still know they're an improvement. Jimmy Fallon, that's right, Tom Suozzi is replacing George Santos and simply looking at their resume, the two of them are very different. Suozzi, for example, listed his education as Ba. From Boston College, Santos placed PhD. From Hogwarts, Jimmy Fallon, today was Valentine's Day, so I know what I'm getting tonight, eight hours of sleep. Seth Mayers, I'm sure you are aware that it is Valentine's Day. If you weren't aware, this is probably why your wife has been upset all day and hasn't said anything. Jimmy Kimmel, I'd want to extend a special greeting to all of you who are currently making love with the television on. We see you. Jimmy Kimmel, that's right, today is Valentine's Day, and if you forgot, don't worry, there's a good chance President Biden did, too. Jimmy Fallon, even Donald Trump sent a lovely message today. He wrote, Biden is not too old, he's too incompetent. This is the closest he gets to telling someone he loves them. Jimmy Kimmel, Donald Trump marked the occasion by writing a valentine to his wife Melania and then having his campaign send a mass email blast with the subject line I love you, Melania. Unsubscribe. Stephen Colbert, even just graphically, it looks like a ransom letter, which I guess is fitting, given Melania's current situation. Jimmy Kimmel. And then there's a little box where you can leave a message for Melania saying, we want 100,000 responses right now. Of course, there's a button to donate to Sint. Valen Crimes Legal Defense Fund. What a beautiful and romantic gesture. Jimmy Kimmel.